Hey nerds, welcome to Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Theories and Conspiracies. I'm Brian from Good Nerd, Bad Nerd. So this week on Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. we had a lot. It just kind of hit the ground running and it was a great episode. It, this was a really strong episode and I'm actually really excited for where the show is going. The ratings have been steadily increasing. These last few episodes have been really solid for the show. So I, I feel like a season five is all but guaranteed. But let's jump into it. So first, the highlights. First off, uh, between Coulson and May, their, their interaction at the beginning, and he's, he's not really coming forward, and then he finally opens up. And the whole time I was th thinking it was going to be, you know, didn't they kiss? Wasn't that a thing? But no, he was uh, worried about confessing that he opened the bottle of whiskey. And if they hadn't gotten in the fight right then or, you know, been hit by the water, May probably would have decked him. And I thought, you know, that was a, that was a fun moment. It was, it was a nice... That entire sequence was nice because we did get a lot more about their relationship. Um, and you feel like it, we are still really building to that Felinda thing. So that was, that was great. Um, the other thing that I just loved from this episode was Simmons was just ruthless. Um, not trusting um, Fitz, obviously not trusting Ada, but the second they appear and she sees them, she, you know, takes them out and, you know, puts them down. And that was uh, brutal, but, you know, fantastic. She doesn't try to talk to Fitz immediately. She doesn't trust what his state of mind is or anything like that. She just puts him down and they'll sort it out later. So that was, that was awesome. That was great. But uh, the, the big stuff from the episode, and first... Mac and Yo-Yo. So Mac, we didn't really see at all this episode except for his, um, you know, body that which is still, you know, tapped into the framework. Yo-Yo, you know, is determined to get him out. She really tried to have it out with Daisy and, you know, <laughs> I understand Yo-Yo's frustration, but in that situation there was nothing um, Daisy really could have done. She could have knocked him out, but when they got back to this world, I feel like Mac's resentment towards her would have been un unpassable. This is something that Mac has to give up on his own. He can't be forced to give up hope. Even though he knows she's not real, he can't be forced to do that. He has to make that decision for himself. And that's one of the things that Yo-Yo's going to figure out. But the situation she finds herself in when she joins, or she, she comes into the framework, this is, I think we're going to get a glimpse of how Madame Hydra and Fitz were experimenting on the Inhumans. I'm pretty sure that's what she pops into. Obviously, there's chaos going on around her that we don't see, but there's a, there's a lot there, and I think we, we've got some dark days ahead for them inside the framework. I, I just don't know how much time they're going to be able to spend on it. We are really quickly coming up to the end of the season, but it, it, you know, it's, uh, there's going to be some, some tough moments ahead for both of them, I think. So, next. Fitz is clearly and understandably uh, shocked and almost, uh, you know, he's, he's definitely suffering from PTSD from what he did. He's got some serious internal conflict of what kind of monster is he. Um, and he, he's trying to come to terms with it. But the question I have, and obviously if there's a season five, we will see how this plays out. But does Fitz come back from this? Does he regain his confidence? Does he regain the uh, belief in who he is after this. Um, Ada was trying to put it all back on him, saying, no, 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 you did all that. that was, those were your decisions. Um, and Fitz is trying to be like, but I was doing it for you. These were things you asked of me. You're the and That's a, a serious um, question is, was that man in there really Fitz? Was he capable of those things in the real world if, you know, his father had been in the picture? There's a lot of stuff there, and I don't see Fitz coming back from this really easily. You know, just another wrench in his life of, you know, hurdle and struggle and struggle. So that's, a, you know, that's my question to you guys. Does he come back from this? Will we see Fitz back to his old self um, in season five? I'm just going to assume we have season five. Next. What's the deal with Ada? What is her plan? What are her powers? Um, the powers we have seen her exhibit. We have, we know we have Gordon's teleportation. We have Lincoln's electricity. We've got some sort of healing ability. We don't know which inhuman she's gotten that from. Um, it's uh, potentially, it, it makes sense that she would also have uh, VJ's uh, reflex ability. We saw that in 
one of the first episodes of the season where after he came out of the uh, inhuman cocoon, he had like super fast reflexes once his powers actually um, manifested. But uh, what else, what other powers does she have? We really don't know. We just get this idea from the conversation between May and Fitz that any inhuman they experimented on, she could potentially have their powers. Um, now, this goes to um, Kyle had a theory that maybe she's exhibiting some sort of super scroll abilities. Um, and this was Marvel's way of kind of getting that kind of characteristics of the character into the show or just into the MCU in general. And that's interesting, but there's actually um, kind of context for this from the Darkhold itself. And if uh, you go back and read um, the Midnight Suns crossover, it's called uh, Midnight Massacre. Blade reads a specific passage from the Darkhold and this allows him to obtain um, anyone's skills or powers. So because Ada has completely read the Darkhold, she knows everything that's in it. So it makes sense that she would kind of be able to do this and help Fitz create a machine within the framework that would give her these things and encode those abilities onto her so that when she did make a new body, they could already be in there. Um, what do you guys think about that? I think if, uh, you know, all the crazy stuff that we're seeing, if we kind of go back and look at some of these storylines that deal specifically with the Darkhold, we're going to see crazy stuff, whether it's in that kind of Midnight Suns thing or any Doctor Strange stories. The Darkhold really does have a lot of power that people can, you know, take advantage of. And because Ada did it in her robot form, I don't know that she's necessarily corrupted by it. She's corrupted from different things, being that she has no idea how to control her emotions. But it's, uh, it's you know, there, there's a lot of other possibilities for things in the comics that the Darkhold could be could have in store. Now, the, the, the other question, though, is what is her plan? It seems like she wants to make the framework reality here in this world, but just kind of more messed up, darker. She wants these people, she wants the S.H.I.E.L.D. agents to suffer. So how is she going to be using the Darkhold to accomplish that? Um, it's possible she's going to try and use it to merge the two realities. And maybe that's how we're going to see, you know, Mac and Yo-Yo are going to be fighting the, the battle on, that, on their side, where everyone else is going to be fighting it on their side, on the, you know, outside of the framework. So that's kind of what I see going on and where her plan is. Um, but yeah, she's definitely some sort of monster. Um, <laughs> The way she killed that android, I mean, obviously she has super strength as well because she destroyed the android's head, um, but she's a, she's a terrifying villain, I will say that. Uh, now, the last thing, the, the tag, the tease at the end, Robbie Reyes, the Ghost Rider, has returned. Um, he's back from wherever he was, whether it was Hell or the Dark Dimension. Um, that gate opened. Most likely, somehow, he activated it from the other side to come through because there was nothing... Uh, in the lab that was still functioning that would have acted as a power source. So he's back. I'm curious why he was sent back or if he was able to just figure out a way to get himself out. But it seems likely that all of this use of the Darkhold, someone or something has forced him to come back to finish the job of stopping the Darkhold, of destroying it or of securing it um, so that it can't be used. You know, maybe someone on the other side in the, you know, the, the dark realm is getting a little upset by the um, overuse of the book in a way that it doesn't serve them. So let me know what you guys think. Uh, what did you think of the episode? <laughs> What's in store for everyone? And what other powers do you think Ada is going to have? Let me know in the comments below. And don't forget to check out my other videos. We have Flash and Supergirl. So until next week, guys, I'm Brian from Good Nerd, Bad Nerd. And this has been Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Theories and Conspiracies.